Hi, this is Naomi with Planners on Purpose. I wanted to jump in here to say hello and to give you some motivation as you go through your new week. I also have an announcement to share with you as well. So stay tuned to the end and you'll hear all about that. Well, first I wanted to share my three biggest tips of productivity and getting things done because we all wanna finish what we start and do the things we set out to do, right? So my first tip comes in the form of a question. What are the three big items that you want to work on this week? Take a big reflection and think about that and type it in the chat if you want to. But knowing what your big three are of the week helps you to continually pace towards that as you move throughout it. So this is a really excellent productivity tip. I do it myself to make sure that I get done at least the three big items that I feel are important through the week. So again, drop down your three items and let's make them happen this week. Second, every day this week, let's take some time. Start with 10 minutes. Do before, before you do anything, right? So before you check your phone, before you wake your kids, before they wake you, take 10 minutes to focus on the items that you wanna do for the day. Now, I love the number three, so we can just think of it as, let's do three things at home and let's do three things at work. And then I would even say, throw in three things for yourself because you matter and we want to make sure that you are taken care of. So throw in three things that you'll do for yourself this week as well. Now, when you start your day with clarity, you're going to move through it with purpose and you'll see that happen after you continually do this. And this is what we're here to do. I'm here to help you live your life on purpose. So number three, find one thing that you do all of the time that can lead to either automation or delegation or that you can put within a system. So perhaps you send out calendar invitations all day, every day, perhaps you, update a spreadsheet with your financial information. You repeat the same things each week or each day. Whatever it is, let's figure it out and let's find a way to automate it, create a system around it or delegate that task. We need to do a little better at delegation. Delegation frees up space in our worlds to do other things like creation, spend time with family or just more important work. So when you delegate, you give the gift of knowledge to others that may be able to also learn in the process. So it's really not a bad thing. Don't think of it as pushing work on to someone else. Think of it as providing them an opportunity to be able to learn something new. Now, if there's something that you feel can be automated, let's figure out the tools and the systems that you can get in place in order to make that happen. And then finally, if you are doing things and you're the only one that can do a particular process, maybe it's time to systematize that process, put it in the form of a SOP that you can deliver to everyone so that everyone has the tools to do that certain task. So that's it. I would love your feedback on how this goes for you through the week. Those are my top three tips and I hope they help you. They certainly help me. So finally, I have a special announcement. I know you guys were waiting for it. So several of you know that I've been working on a digital course to offer our community. Well, it is finally here, I'm very excited. The course is called Stress Less, Plan at Your Best Digital Course. It's going to be launching tomorrow. So I really hope that you'll consider joining. It's a seven week comprehensive digital course, and it's focused on giving you the tools, the worksheets, the tips, the community. Um, we'll be having some lives, Facebook lives, so that I can answer any of your questions. This will not only help you overcome your overwhelm, but catapult you to living a life of purpose. So to celebrate the launching of this course, I'll be providing a free masterclass that will happen next week. So if you want to ensure that you don't miss out, I'll post the link in the chat for you to sign up for notifications on this amazing course and masterclass. So I'm excited, I hope you are too. I really hope that you join me in this free masterclass and that's all I have for the day. <laughs> so I hope you have an amazing Sunday with your family and a productive week next week. We will see you soon.